6 auf 15, also 6 auf 17, dann ist es vielleicht doch Boarding. Done. We actually do a lot of stuff regarding focus and there is a lot of basic information that is not related to tools. We connected that with the concept of the top five and this is actually this book here. The so-called stay focus book. If you're working all day long there is no time to make money. Based on the concept of the top five. Now the second workshop is starting so I will explain that later. I forgot to record the video yesterday about uh, how to prioritize in the top five. Since we're on the way um, to one of our clients, I will ask them if I can borrow a room and a flip chart and um, record it for you guys again. to use my last bit of battery to finalize my workday video. What I want to share is my, my thoughts about how do I prioritize, like how do I decide like what's on top. I have three things that I do a little bit different. I quickly show you what I mean. Wait a second. What Eisenhower does, it's like very simple. He says there is urgent stuff and there is important stuff. Certain stuff is more urgent, less urgent, more important and less important. The first thing I want to change in that matrix is the word important that I call impact. You focus on like the few things you can do really well, but you then do them really well. Like you always think of where do I have the most impact and you just don't stuff for the sake of doing it or because someone says it's important. Forget important and look for impact. It's very easy to make decisions because if something is not urgent and has no impact, you delete it. To do that right away, you ideally have the chance to delegate that to someone else. This is something where many companies struggle because they delegate too many things to another person within the company. So make sure you don't delegate bullshit to your colleagues. Here, what you do is you, you decide when you do it, you plan it. So these are the projects and there is a whole separate session I will do on this one. But there's one super important thing that I miss. I'm always looking for fun. And you combine that with impact. These two together generate flow. Can you see that actually down there? flow and this is a feeling that you have if you do something that costs you quite some effort like you need, need to concentrate and you need to focus on it but you have fun doing it and you have a high impact so this is how I prioritize and from that list I generate my daily top five and I usually try to start my top five with what is easy to do like in half an hour and where do I have fun doing it because then I start with something fun and it generates the productivity flow for the day. The second task then usually is something that is of high impact, a bigger task that maybe I have been planning doing. Then number three is something like a medium task where I don't sit any longer than 45 minutes focused and concentrated. And number four and five are smaller tasks. And now I try to catch a plane and thanks for watching. Thank you.